I come to rock you, slew the serpent and the dragon for you attack you. Uyuyu, 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 a country that has always been on my list of places to see. Located in the Caribbean Sea, it's known for being the birthplace of reggae, Bob Marley, beautiful beaches, and luxurious, all-inclusive resorts. If you know anything about my travel style, you know I'm definitely not an all-inclusive resort kind of girl. I love spending time with locals and getting to learn about the culture. When I think of Jamaica, I think of Rastas, but to be honest, I had no idea what the Rastafari beliefs were or their way of life. A friend of mine from Switzerland who has been living in Jamaica for seven years and has really integrated into the Rasta community said he would show me around and introduce me to some of his friends so I could get a better understanding about everything that is Rastafari. This is my friend Sanka and he's taking me around and showing me Blue Mountain. The School of Vision, a Rasta camp which is located 3,000 feet up high in the Blue Mountains. The camp is not accessible by car. You have to trek up the hill about 30 minutes before you reach this secluded Rasta camp. And the view is so worth it. If you really want to take in all that the Rasta camp has to offer, you're welcome to stay overnight. They have basic accommodations and even provide idle meals. What I learned by staying there for a couple nights was that the community is very proud of their culture and faith. Rastas live naturally and follow their organic diet. There's also a small gift shop where you can purchase handmade products made by the community. Good morning from the Blue Mountains. Look at this view. It's so pretty. So what we stayed here for oh, oh, <laughs> for two days so far. Um, so yeah, two nights and it's been really nice. It's just like up in the mountains. Um, I guess this place is like a, a Rasta school too, which is really interesting. And um, it's like a Rasta community. So they have different people that live around here. The food's really good. They have a nice gift shop here as well. So um, yesterday just kind of spent the day walking around and it was raining but it was still nice went to check out the waterfall so yeah honestly I don't really want to leave it's so beautiful up here like how can you not love it you know wow so where are we going we're going to Dutchville where Dutchville 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 is a little it's not a village it's tree house one two three three house in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so we're going to the middle of nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> we're going nowhere. I would never be going there because this is like what? This is this the is, best tour guide of Jamaica. Yes, he's the best tour guide of Jamaica from Switzerland. <laughs> this is Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Uh, yesterday, New York. I thought. I thought this was Switzerland. No, 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 for real, that's Philadelphia. Oh, this is Philadelphia. <laughs> All jokes aside, after leaving the Blue Mountain, Sangha wanted to introduce me to his friend, Cedric Mayton, who is the singer of the Congos, known to be a legend of reggae music. Cedric welcomed me in his home with open arms and was happy to explain the Rasta way of life to me, share his life and struggles, and also corrected me when I kept calling Rastafari Rastafarism. Rastafariism? Rastafari is not a ism. No. Rastafari is real. Way of life. <laughs> we promote Rastafari every day because we make songs of Rastafari every day. We sing songs of Rastafari every day. Rastafari is our guide, our guideline, true lifeline from generation to this generation. From being in the past 5,000 years ago, is the same Rastafari today. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? That's plain to see. Can I guess? Yeah, try. Okay. If, if I say too loud, 
or too too old. Forgive me. No, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna say 63. <laughs> A good try. A good try. Yeah. Good try. Yeah. Good try. How old are you? Uh, seven five. Fuck, 75 years old? <laughs> Just the beginning. Just the beginning. <laughs> Just, um, just the beginning. Oh my god. God, are you a Libra? Something like that. Yes! <laughs> Libra! Uh, no, no, Love I'm, you guys. No, I'm a, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Rastafari is a religion and a political movement that was developed in Jamaica in the 1930s. Since Cedric has been around since the 40s, he's pretty much seen it all. In the early days of the movement, it wasn't so easy as he shares. But there are things we go through during, during the journey. During the journey, we go through a lot of things. Many rivers, many mountains. We are personal people, we are natural people. So sometimes things become personal. Individually, like I have myself. I, I was trimmed by the police, cut my locks. Police them cut. Why would they do that? It's just a police was overreacting, doing you know things, and it escalated in a different way. You know, and out of these things, so many things happened during the past. There, it's. History in the past. My curiosity about the Rasta culture led me all over Jamaica as I was determined to learn more. And one thing that I love, love about Jamaica is like you always hear, even in a peaceful place like this, like you always hear music, but there's something about it. Like there's like, I don't know. It, usually, you know, when it's like nice and peaceful, you want it to be quiet, but here, like, I don't know if you can hear. You can probably hear, um, but I don't. I don't know if this is a dance hall reggae. I think it's dance hall, um, but you just hear it everywhere, and it's like even up in the hills, like somewhere really quiet. It's nice to hear because it, it just like reminds you that you're in Jamaica. My determination led me to this record store in the middle of nowhere. A cute little record store run by a Rasta man. I had the chance to ask him what being Rasta meant to him. Being a Rasta is life, is living a life of truth, the truth of reality, the reality of earth that is majesty, I the mm -hmm. first of Ethiopia, is king of kings and lord of lords, the conquering line of Judah, essentially meaning he is divine among mankind, that's what Rasta is saying. After spending time with Rastas, I realized that their beliefs are often misunderstood. To many, anyone who has dreads, smokes ganja, and plays reggae music is a Rasta. There's so much more than those three elements to being a Rasta. Rastafari is more than just a religion. It is a movement and a way of life. The Rasta life is one of peace. Now that I spent my time in Jamaica being around locals and trying to understand their culture, so many people just come here to spend their vacation in a resort. They never leave, or if they do, they just go on an extremely touristy tour. I'm glad I spent my time differently. I hope you learned something about Jamaica just like I did while I was there. Thanks for watching.